worksheet number three substance and mixture general instruction watch and understand this video for laptop users copy and answer using google documents provided by your teachers or teacher rather number three for smartphone tablet or ipad user you may copy and answer in your notebook then take picture and attach to your google classroom siguraduhin nyo lang na malinaw ang pagka-attach nyo sa classroom para mas ma daling basahin okay your activity number one okay yan itong gagawin nyo um, in number one there is a question do you think the substance represent or repre represented in this diagram is an element okay take note huh? do you think e the substance represented in this diagram is an element this one is this an element okay to help you answer the question class let us go through the following questions okay you need to answer okay number one you write down what you see in the picture okay you write down what you see in this picture okay number two do you think it is a mixture of substance or a pure substance do you think it is a mixture or a pure substance why do you think so okay dito kayo mag base sa diagram na yan number three are the atoms all of the same kind tignan nyo to dito class ha are all the atoms of are are the atoms rather all of the same kinds tignan nyo dito number four what class of substances is made up of only one kind of atom okay and number five is the substance can element why okay number six can elements be made up molecules okay you need to answer that okay okay in your activity number two makinig ng mabuti okay Using items from around the house, make models of atoms, elements, compounds, molecules of elements, molecules of compounds, and mixtures, okay? These models must show that you understand the terms and definitions and concept correctly. Na may papakita mamaya, okay? After nitong slides, okay? Materials used or materials needed is... Pwede kayong mamili kung anong gagamitin nyo. Buttons o botones, Lego bricks, play doh, beads, coins, plastic bottle lids. Okay, mamili kayo dyan kung alin dyan ang gagamitin nyo. Okay? This activity class, supposedly, it should be cut and paste activity. Since hindi tayo mag-meet, ang gagawin nyo class, gagawin nyo to sa bahay at kukunan nyo ng picture. Okay? Instead na i-cut and paste, kunan nyo na picture tapos i-attach nyo doon sa Google Documents nyo. Okay? Terms and defini definitions and stick them together so that they match together. Okay? Take note class, ito yung halimbawa ng A na gagawin nyo. Ito yung B, ito yung C, ito yung D, ito yung E, ito yung F. Sir, paano po ito gagawin? Okay? Gagawin nyo to class uh, base doon sa next slide. Okay? Tignan natin yung next slide class. Di ba nakita nyo yung A? Ang A serve as an atom. B as an element. C as molecule of an element. Compound, mixture, and molecule of compound. Take note class, kung ano ang nakalagay sa picture na letter A kasi ang sabi dito, made up of just one kind of atom. Ibig sabihin, isa lang yung nilagay niya isang coin ang ilalagay mo. Okay? Next, sundan mo na lang din class kung ano ang mga definition sa susunod na mga letters. Okay? Nagbigay ako ng example ha. Kung ang coin ang kung coin ang gagamitin mo made up of just one kind of atom. Dapat ang coin na gagamitin mo ay isa lang. Kunya piso, piso lang ang ilalagay mo o pipicturean mo at ilagay mo doon sa documents mo. Okay? Ganun din ang gagawin mo sa B, B C, D, E, F. 
Okay? Basahin ng mabuti ang mga definition of terms. Tapos, dun nyo ibase ang inyong mga gawa sa inyong uh, materials. Mamili lang kayo dun kung anong gusto nyo, kung anong meron sa bahay nyo. So, kadalasan merong coins. Si coins ang gagamitin nyo. Siguro din nyo ang coins ay magkaiba-iba ang size. Para malaman ko. Pipicturan nyo at ilalagay nyo bawat specific na letters. Okay? Thank you. And then next. Okay. In activity number 3 class, ganito ang gagawin nyo. Okay? Study the images A to F below and answer the following question. Each of the six blocks labeled A to F contains some matter. Ibig sabihin, mga matter ang laman nito, class, mga matter. You must answer the following question using the diagrams in the blocks. Okay? A, B, C, D, E, F. Okay? Instruction is, you must classify the matter in each block A to F using only numbers 1 to 6. Ito lang, gamitin yung 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 to identify the following categories. Each question may have more than one answer. For example, I'll give for example, for example, letter F. Ang F ay sa tingin ko ay 1, pwede siyang 1, pwede siyang 6, pwede siyang 5. Okay, ganun ang gagawin nyo class ha? For example, letter C. Sa tingin ko, letter C ay elements, number 1, Two. O, ganun ang gagawin nyo, class, ha? Napakadali lang to ng activity na to. Sana maintindihan nyo. Okay? Thank you and God bless.